what we're seeing right now is the culmination of about eight years worth of collaborative work and finally success on cleaning up one of these most degraded waterways in western New York. The second phase of the Buffalo River Restoration Partnership's effort to dredge contaminated sediment from the waterway has now reached the city ship canal. This $44 million part of the process started in October, ridding the natural resource of what the area's industrial past left behind. Name a contaminant and it is probably in this river. This environmental bucket takes the sediment from the water and brings it up to a vessel called a scow. It then goes to a confined disposal facility out in the Buffalo Harbor. They're specifically designed um, to hold uh, contaminated sediment and the way they work is they hold the sediment in but allow the water to go out. The work will continue as long as Mother Nature allows and then pick up again sometime in June. There will be a lot more activity in the lower river next summer that will be highly visible. It will be along the Ohio Street corridor, some in the inner harbor, but it, the goal is to minimize the disruption for the use and enjoyment of the river. And the State Department of Environmental Conservation is overseeing water quality monitoring throughout the process. After we're done dredging, there will be sampling done of the sediment bottom uh, to make sure that we got the chemicals out that we were seeking to. Uh, not only that, but we'll also look five years out and we're going to do sampling again to see how the river recovers naturally. Jedlicka says the goal is to have the Buffalo River no longer listed as an area of concern by 2015, which she says will turn a liability into an asset. All the incredible waterfront revitalization activity that's happening right now has to be built upon a clean foundation, and that clean foundation is clean water resources. In Buffalo, Caitlin Leonti, YNN.